Hey guys, this is Shot of Kirby 707, and welcome to Kirby's Dreamland 3. In the last episode, we reunited this orange, or I don't know what it is. I assume it's an orange with a mochi. I have no idea what that white thing was that we reunited with, but it's some sort of Japanese food. I remember what it was, but I just can't remember on the top of my head. I'm having a brain fart. And we met up with Rick's girlfriend, I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, and I freaked out on the stage a lot too because there's a lot of, well, a lot of pits. <laughs> but in this part, we're gonna do the last stage of Cloudy Park, which usually involves puzzles, which is this thing. It looks rather familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, we. I think we've seen this one in Level Two Ripple Field. I don't remember, but we see something similar to this. But anyways, let's head right in. Ooh, it's very. Very pink. Very pink, indeed. And there's a lot of drawings. How cute, I suppose. Jeez, I hope these drawings don't come to life. i rather hope not. <laughs> I'm just making sure these drawings don't come back to life. It kind of reminds me of that one episode of Spongebob where Spongebob made a, like a fake, or like a, a drawing of um, Doodle Bob. I think that was his name. I like that episode. It was a really fun episode. It's really funny. I like that episode. It's one of my favorite classic ones. No, go over here. Yeah, crack this entrance for me. Thank you. You do not want to destroy that guy because they do. Oh my god. Um, yeah. Thankfully, Rick is a little bit short of that range. Ah, go down. Ah, squish. All right. I will, I will say the color of the stage is rather cute, I suppose. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna lose Rick. Yeah. Um, oh. No, do not kill me. Run, 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 run. There we go. All right. Oh, uh, there's Nago. I do need Nago, though, actually, for our, uh, later on, but not particularly for this stage, though. The next world will need Nago, but so we'll get him later. Um, nah, I think I should stick with Rick. It's been a while since I used Rick, so you know when I'll use Rick. I mean, we used Koo in the last episode. I think Rick is time to shine. Oh, this is nothing? What's in here? There's no secret? Huh. I would think there'll be a secret. Or maybe this spot was for Rick, but since I have Rick, he doesn't appear. So I think that spot's for Rick. Alright. Open up! Open Sesame, please! Open Sesame. Or open Zap. I don't know. Alright. Alright. Go to the last door, and there we go. All right, so we need to find that little puzzle thing and solve this puzzle. Yeah, <laughs> enough said. All right, all right, come on. There we go. I'm gonna dust you off. Ha <laughs> ha! Fear my feather duster. Oh god, I hate those things. I hate those black things with the creepy smile. They're so, ugh, they're so scary in Dreamland too. I don't like them. They're so mean. Do they take my friend away? Um, great door? No. Oh, this must be the puzzle then. Yep. Alright, so... Yeah, you get the image. But the thing is, this guy's upside down. Okay, this is not the exact image you want the puzzle to be. You want it to be upside down. So if you turn this guy around upside down, that's what the actual puzzle, or the block puzzle you needed to form it into. So... Just take a good look. Remember, um, you know, you have to keep it upside down, so yeah. Alright, I think I got it. So yeah, we need to make that thing upside down for the block puzzle, so yeah. Or yeah, we need to make it upside down. To do it! Oh, shoot, I was not far enough. Well, that's okay. I don't really need Rick, per se, so yeah. I can do it without Rick. Go away, you guys. I really don't like you. Although you're cute, but I don't really want to deal with you guys. You guys are quite annoying. Alright, I'm assuming this is the puzzle room, so let's see. Yep. Alright, so... Um, the top part, just leave it be. The second row, you want to clear both sides. But you do want to take care of this. Alright, um... Uh, yeah. Yeah, leave the second row. Or leave the first row alone and eliminate. Oh, frick! <laughs> I didn't 
mean to jump up, jump toward that. Oops. All right, I gotta start over again. Um, all right, how about we start from the top? All right, so we need to. Yeah, we need to keep it like that for the the last row. All right. Uh, destroy this. Destroy that. Um, shoot. <laughs> You got. You really gotta time Kirby spit properly, cause otherwise you'll mess up. Right, how about we start from the top, the second row? All right. So we got eliminate both sides. Eliminate this. Okay, come on. One more. There we go. All right. So far, so good. All right. Eliminate that. Okay, top one right there. There we go. And I think we eliminate both sides of the last row. There we go! So, yeah, if you imagine the face that's on the top two rows, yeah, it's upside down actually, so the way it was shown in that room, you have to do it upside down. But yeah, it's pretty simple. Really simple puzzle. Alright, so let's eliminate these guys. Go away. Oh, actually, oh, you guys shoot web. No, don't shoot webs. Okay, I'll wait till they get out. And run for it! Run! Run! <laughs> Run! Oh, I hate those needle guys. Those needle guys are the worst. Alright, um, uh, okay, yeah. Let me through, let me through. What's... I don't know what's in the store. You know what? I'm gonna check all the rooms. You never know. We could find something very unique. Oh, okay. So it's a mixture of... Or it's a maze of some sort. Already, I guess we'll have to check through all the rooms. Because I really don't know which room we need to go through. Let's check the third room. I don't know where we need to go. I don't know. Oh, uh, no, this is the wrong room. Get out of the way, spider. I want that star, though. Alright, so I guess the third room doesn't work. Okay. Actually, I can get out of here. Let me out. Go through this room. How about that? So, check through this door and let's see if we're right. Hey, we're right! So if we went to the last room, it would be a death trap or the star. But I think we're good. Let's just get out of here. Alright, ooh, we got ice. Actually, we can use some of these abilities and get some of our prizes. Nice! I will gladly take these stars. It will help me get more 1-ups. And there's the broom ability. Um, I kind of want to keep the ice ability just so... Or actually, maybe cutter might be more effective. You know what? I'm going to keep the cutter ability because I probably could use that for the boss of Cloudy Park. Yeah, I'm going to keep cutter. I don't care about the soda. I'm just going to get my one up, ignore the soda, and just get out of here. Ooh, there's fire too. You know, oh, fire will be useful too. Ah. You know what? Fire. Yeah, I'm going to keep fire. I'll wait till that star disappears. Destroy that star, will ya? Thank you. Alright. Come on, move out of the way. Okay. Give me my fire. Yes. Alright, get some of these stars. Oh, I need two more to form one a one up. Blah. Alright. Oh, you again. No. Okay, fine. Uh, actually, uh, do you want to get those stars? Give me those stars. Over here. Open this up. Open up. Thank you. Yay, one up 25. Wow. 25 one up. Yay. There's no way I'll get a game over it unless I suck really bad at the level. Oh, yeah, remember what I said, drawings don't come to life? Yeah, they come to life and attack you. I'm going to ignore that soda. I'm just going to run through this area. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, drawings coming to life. Hmm, I wonder who we're going to face in the boss. Because this boss of this... Um, a cloudy park uses drawings to attack. Yeah, so he's familiar in Kirby 64, huh? Well, I guess in a way they're similar, but it's actually a different person. This is Otto. Otto is actually a boy. Not Andalay. Otto and Andalay are actually different people. Although they look similar, but Otto and Andalay are two separate people, so yeah. If you think this is the person from Kirby 64, well, you're kind of wrong, because although they are similar, but I believe Otto and Andalane are different. Andalane's the girl in Kirby 64, the girl that paints. Can you get a little bit closer so I can do this? There we go, and Otto's angry. So yes, Otto uses his artwork to attack. 
you need to destroy his creation. So, unfortunately, you can't attack him. You only attack his creations. Alright, wait till you're... Okay, maybe I should be... God dang it. No. Okay, there we go. You throw that fish. Otto's even more angrier. Oh, Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright. Yeah. I think Mr. Shine is a sun, because, you know, sunshine and Mr. Bright as well. The bright moon, I don't know. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna wait till you come. Yeah, I have an ability. It makes this battle much more easier, because I do have a hard time with this battle without a copy ability, so having a copy ability in this fight makes this fight really easy. When I first play this game, I don't know why, but Otto was the hardest boss for me to beat. Like, I had a hard time defeating him. Um, Otto has... Wow, he... Oh, this... Yeah, no, no, no. Actually, it was this fate that gave me the hard time. We have Cracko. You know, guys, you guys know this guy, right? The cloud, one-eyed enemy. Yeah, um, I need to reach you, buddy. I need to reach you. Get over here. Get over here. Yeah, there we go. Get over here. Oh, shoot. Um... Can you get a little lower? A little lower, a little lower. Not too low. Okay. Um, uh, go here. No, don't give me your babies. Don't give me your babies. I am running a little health. Oh, no. Okay, come here. Come here, come here, come here. There we go. Take your time, Skevin. Take your time. Nope. Okay, get over here. No! Don't send me your babies. Don't send me your babies. Here we go, we destroyed Krakko, and Otto is just gonna attack us. And that is it for him. I don't know if Otto and Andaline are related. I mean, it's the same design of Otto and Andaline, but I don't know if they're related somehow. It could be that a creator decided to change the gender of Otto into a girl and the creator's foreign to Andaline. I don't know, but pretty much they're similar. Or Otto is similar to Andalane and Kirby 64. But anyways, we defeated Otto and we released the darkness out of Cloudy Park. And I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. We pretty much completed Cloudy Park and we defeated the boss, Otto. And we have the little, well, technically the last level, but it's not really the last level yet. But anyways, that is it for this part. Next time on Kirby Dreamland 3, we will start on level 5, which I know I'm looking forward to one of the stages if you guys know what I mean. <sighs> Anyways, I will see you guys then. So, this is Shadow Kirby 707 saying bye!